Yarg! I heard these rats were on me island, but I didn't think they would be so kind as to find this treasure for me. Get your paws off my booty, landlubbers. Let me tell you something right now, my friend. My hands are nowhere near your booty. Maybe your friend next to you, but not you. <laughs> How you doing, baby? You know what? Never mind. You have like a serious case of uh, bitch face happening right there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Falcon, renowned explorers, episode number five. I promised a boss fight last episode, and here I am to deliver on it. Although we did do a boss fight last episode, too. We did this little weird side objective that we found, which was really great. There might be an encounter here. That's what we did already. Don't lie to me, game. I already went there, okay? Don't make me go back. I'm not going back. We're coming over here to the boss fight. Let's stop dilly-dallying around, and let's get this out of the way now. Finally, you find it, the Waterfall Rock. The treasure hidden by the notorious pirate captain, Rush must be here somewhere. There, this is the goal of the expedition. Whatever happens here, it will be the end of the expedition. Yes, I'm ready. Onwards, my wayward son. What a fantastic sight. No wonder that pirate captain... Roche uh, chose this place to bury his treasure. The crew starts to look for clues and signs of treasure under the peerless guidance of Harry. It seems like it's, it will take longer than expected. Someone might want to set up a defensive camp. While the other crew members continue searching and digging, Harry evaluates the issue. Uh, that sounds pretty good. It's telling me to do that for a reason, you know? So, even though we only have a 58% chance to succeed, we do have a tool, which will actually boost us up to 83, which is actually really good. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Probably a good reason after all that I... <laughs> Go away, Skull. Probably a good reason that I saved that tool afterward. Um, it looks like a bastion. Dolores creates a camp at a strategic location with a lookout and everything. Besides that, it was a good way to learn about the environment. You will be prepared for any hostilities that come your way. And since it is the last location, you definitely expect there to be some. So that's a really good success on our part. Uh, to find a treasure, the crew spends hours looking for Roche's marks. The night passes and guard duties change. While the crew works diligently to uncover the secret of treasures, they might not... It's not long the next morning until something happens, right? Uh, golden coins or study? I'm gonna go into more study, really. Treasure! After hours and hours of searching and digging, Harry's shovel finally hits a wooden chest. The crew opens it up to see the Spanish treasure in all its glory, surrounded by other precious pieces as well. The crew prepares to dig out Roche's treasure when you hear a deep laugh from behind. It's the smuggler boss. We know about you, my friend. We took care of your smuggler captain, by the way. Uh, let's see. Captain voice? Let's see if I can do a pirate voice here. Yarg! I heard these rats were on me island, but I didn't think they would be so kind as to find this treasure for me. Get your paws off my booty, landlubbers. Let me tell you something right now, my friend. My hands are nowhere near your booty. Maybe your friend next to you, but not you. <laughs> How you doing, baby? You know what? Never mind. You have like a serious case of uh, bitch face happening right there. Sorry, just calling it how it is, no offense, but you kind of really do. Uh, anyway, he hurls a heavy object towards you. Watch out! Radioactive man! Uh, a ticking bomb. It's going to blow and take some of uh, the treasure with it. No, no, I want the treasure, dog. Oh, hey, 100% chance because Harry is a scout. I love it. So we save the valuables, thank goodness. The boss confronts you. It seems you won't go down with just an old sea mine. We'll show you what happens when you disrespect my territory. Fellas, get the treasure and crush these landlubbers. It seems as there is no choice, but we're going to do a three-star encounter. Oh, that worries me a little bit now. <laughs> it's all been fun in games till now, but now we have a three-star encounter. Uh, friendly, devious, and aggressive. Any other bonuses here? Campaign token? Yeah, it doesn't really matter how we do this one then. I'll probably go with, a, um, with the speech abilities, though, because, uh, again, as we already noted, pirates seem to be really weak against um, enraged abilities as well. So we have a dude behind us that's going to actually be sniping us. I don't really like our tactical position here. Like, there's really not enough cover that I would really like to get some choke points happening unless we move up here. So we might do that. Uh, boss is all the way over here. 200 HP or spirit? Good God. Well, he is weak against uh, Enraged. Let's see. The boss of all smugglers. Watch out for his charge. His next attack will deal double damage. Oh, that's no good. So if he charges up, we got to run. We also have another ranged dude over here. Okay, so, um, first things first, we want to get rid of this guy and these two people, and we start... You know what? If we actually post up over here, even if it's not a choke point, this will actually do some healing over time, and probably some other boost as well, which isn't too bad. So, again, pirates weak against enraged abilities, right? I could probably send Harry back here and take care of this guy in one swoop, knowing Harry. Harry's attack power, anyway. Um, let's find out. I can enrage people over here. Oh, not enough for one-hit kills, obviously. Hmm. I guess I overestimated Harry a little bit there. Okay. Well then, we might actually have to do two hits to keep, 
take this guy down after a... You're at 42, and you're at 20. Oh, this guy's weak enough for a one-hit kill. These guys are not, because they're melee people, so they probably have a bit more HP. Gotcha. So if that's the case, you know what? If that is indeed the case, we could probably even send... No, not you. You're at 24. Not going to be enough for that. Neither are you. Okay. So I'm thinking Harry takes care of him, and then Dolores and Charles team up on somebody and take care of them. We'll be left over one person to deal with, and then these guys will make themselves over to us, but then we'll be at a tactical advantage by that point. So that's a good idea. I like it. Let's do it. Uh, Harry, move down to... Might as well get you on one of these little buff areas. What do you have here as a buff? Oh, he gets five more spirit because they named him Captain. Yeah! <laughs> that's pretty cool how it carries over. Cheap movement, jungle defenses... Oh, that's the defensive camp that we got. This is actually pretty awesome. Like, everything that you actually do in this game actually has a little consequence in the battles, too. This is from the defensive thing that Dolores set up, and that's from the side event that we did. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, alrighty. Let's start off by enraging you, my friend. Get on out of here. You're gonna be a raging Cajun pretty soon. Speaking of raging Cajun, I've been really having a knack for some... We got 25 grit from turning the mood into devious. That's okay. I'll deal with it. That's not a bad buff. I'd want something for more attack power right now, but 25 grit isn't too bad, especially for Harry. But, um, you know, going back to Raging Cajun, I've been actually hankering for some Popeye's um, Louisiana fried chicken recently. I'm not sure why. On occasion, I like to kind of pig out on some sort of, like, you know, junk food. And, um, you can't really go wrong with Louisiana fried Popeye's uh, Raging Cajun chicken, you know? It's not a plug for them, mind you. If it is, please, uh, Louisiana's Popeye chicken, if you're listening to this, send me food. I need food. I cannot survive any longer on cereal and cup of noodles every single night. It gets boring after a while. I had to rotate bana uh, ham sandwiches out of the way because that got boring. So now I'm getting bored of cereal and um, cup of noodles. So yeah, please go ahead and send me chicken. I would not be opposed to it. Uh, anyway, let's get back to business here, Falcon. Enough joking around. Uh, we'll start off with Charles and moving him over here. We'll take care of her first. So we will. Oh, we can do the group insult. But that's not going to be enough attack damage on her to take her out with Dolores, so... No, let's just hold on to this group insult for later. For now, we'll start off with Terrify. Oh, which isn't an... Oh, that's not a Rage ability after all. We might not have enough to take her down af after all. Yeah. So we can do half damage with her, neither with him. Nope. What if we made her go physical on her? Yes! Okay, so we could do one physical attack and then we follow it up with the Terrifying ability for the kill. That's good. So, yes, uh, you punch her out, punch her in the face. It's all right because it's women on women, so it's not, you know, no big deal here. We can just imagine that Dolores is like uh, Ronda Rousey or something over here. Just Rousey that ass. By the way, no offense against Ronda Rousey. She's actually a pretty cool person, like, when I've seen her interviews, but I'm pretty sure she's not even behind it either. But whoever came up with the whole terminology of she just got your ass Rousey or Ronda Rousey to your ass, terrible. That's just fucking terrible, man. Oh, you got Rousey'd. It's almost like, you know, the old school, the one like a few years back, you know, you got served. Instead of you got served, you got Rousey'd. I don't know. This doesn't really float well with me, you know? Old man, I guess, you know? Everything really bothers me. Ah, oh, what do you mean you got Rousey'd? I don't like it. Let's end our turn here really quick. I don't really like that. Rabble, 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 rabble. People are just kind of like listening to me, like, come on, Gramps, just deal with it, okay? All right, I'll try. Uh, we have reinforcements. Oh, we have two ranged dudes now. So, if I had to imagine what their strategy is going to be is get him up front with so much HP. Attack us, focus up, and hit us with two um, double damage. And then these guys will hang out in the background and just kind of snipe us, huh? That's a bit troubling. It can be a bit troubling. Let's see. Um, Harry, you're getting spirit regeneration. Um, huh? Good. Uh, we might want to get some of that for our boy Charles here, but... In order to do that, we'll probably have to move Harry over here to enrage this guy, and then we'll follow it up with uh, Dolores for the kill, right? And then we'll just drop back again. I think that's an excellent idea. So we'll come over here, we will enrage Homeboy, get you all hot and bothered under the collar there. And then we'll finish it off with Dolores, maybe another punch or two. And then you, my friend, come over here, start regenerating some energy. Great. And let's swap over to Dolores. Oh, we're going to have to move her forward. Or do we? Yeah. Yeah, do. Well, the boss shouldn't be able to get to me in one strike anyway, or one move. So we'll move you here and get this kill now, right? 
Huh. If we swap, if we swap the playing field over to aggressive, our devious abilities would actually get a 25% boost power. You know what? That might not be the worst thing. Let's actually try it out. Let's see if we can swap it over. We can? Not too bad. I don't mind dealing with grit. I mean, I'll deal with it. I'll live with it. But if we can swap it over to aggressive, I don't think that's the worst thing out there. Especially if we'll do more damage to this monster over here with 200 HP. So now we just end our turn. We'll let them come to us again. Again, he's gonna need... Yeah, he's gonna need one more turn before he attacks. And... Girl probably needs two. And Homeboy over here needs only one because he's got the long range ability on him. Okay. Are you holding a gun or... Yeah, you're holding a gun. Just wanted to verify that. Look kind of small, like a knife, you know? That's not the knife! Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, we start, need to start retreating here a little bit. I want to fight this guy with the regeneration under our feet, you know? So, let's get you, my friend, over to here. Uh, you could probably get attack off from here too, right? Yeah, but then he's going to leave you wide open for an attack, which is no good. We definitely want to get you on these marker points over here. So move over to that one. You can make it over... No, you can make it there. So Charles, you move over here. And Dolores... Oh, you can make it now. Good. Move you there. Okay. So this is how I want to deal with this fight. This is exactly how I want to deal with it. I want to be under the regeneration area. So this guy should get an attack off this turn. Who's he going after? Charles? I would have preferred Dolores. She probably has more attack capability or defensive capability, but that's okay. He will regain some of that energy back. He still can get an attack off, but he will next turn. So next turn, expect the attack from the boss and then this ranged dude. She'll have to wait for another turn afterwards for that. So let's start going after this guy hard and fast here if we can. Uh, right, so Enrage Ability is what I'm going to start off with here. Which is what you have. So let's start off with Enrage. Get this up and running. Call him a clown, 36 HP, not too bad. Not too bad. And let's see here. You, my friend, you've regained some energy already, great. Let's start off, uh, well, we could do the group insult as well. Ah, but we do want to, well, I wanted to swap over to aggressive, really. He's already at negative 15 regular armor. Because he's a, he's um pissed off. So you know what? We swap over to the aggressive attacks now, and that'll actually should be able to move or switch, swap this over to the um, aggressive mood, which is what we're looking for. Actually, we should do that with Dolores though, because she's a stronger one. So yes, attack him. Yeah. Boomski, 36 more. Alrighty, looking pretty good. Aggressive. There you go. So this is gonna give our devious abilities 25% more power. So that's really good now. We should be able to hurt him even more now. So let's swap over back to you. Um, I don't think you'll be going down with two hits even if he boosts up. Because he has to boost up one turn and then attack you the following turn. So you should be fine for a while. As long as we take care of him before these guys even get here, we're basically free and out of here. Um, this will do not too much damage. What if we went aggressive? Yeah, I guess we'll stick to aggressive then. Go for it. So at this point, what we've done is we've brought him under half health with one turn. Meaning, next turn we can definitely finish him off, assuming he doesn't run off at this point. So we'll end it now. And I think- Oh no! Reinforces from behind! What is he doing? Oh, he just boosted up more than likely. Okay. So basically what happens to happen right now, considering we're about to get pincered attack, he needs to be taken down this turn for a fact. If we don't do that, we're in a lot of trouble because we have two people here, two more behind us, and then the boss over here who apparently charge up for double attack. So if he doesn't go down this turn, we're in for a lot of hurt. So let's find out how this is going to play out. Regular attack power, 100% chance to hit. Let's start off with that one. We should be fine, though. If anybody was to miss, then that's a problem. But if that doesn't happen, we are golden. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. That was actually a lot easier than I expected it would be. Then again, I am moving around a bit more tactically about it, using this little regeneration field on us, so that helped us out quite a bit. We're done. 100% chance. Kill him. It's over. That should be the end of the fight. Boomski. That went really well. Can I pat myself in the back here? Anybody want to give me props? I will take props, because it's not too often I do really good. <laughs> of course, it's only the second boss of the game, Falcon, so stop, you know, talking so much highly about yourself here. E the smugglers lie defeated as you're at your feet. Harry makes it clear that there is more of that to come if the smugglers don't leave this island quickly. The crew's physical prowess has intimidated the boss and they run away vowing to leave you and the island alone. Without those irksome outlaws to bother you, you can retrieve Roche's treasure easily. Alright, 
And here it is. What is it? It's going to be legitimately just treasure. <laughs> 100 renown and two more insights. And we got the treasure hunt ability as well. Take treasure. Good. It looks magnificent. The scent of gold fills the air. With Roche's treasure in your hands, the expedition is a, is a success. You can proudly return to London with this old Spanish treasure. Well done. All right. We also have a level up over there too, which I will take care of in the map area. Caribbean is done. Caribbean, Caribbean, whatever. Whichever one you prefer. Ah, uh, let's see, we got the uh, Amazon eggs, we got the 100-year fruit, and we got the treasure as well. How is our resources over here? Man, we got a lot of gold. I'm liking that. Ooh, that secret that we got? 52 status, 10 renown, and uh, renown, I should say. And uh, 11 research, good. And we got two more resolve points as well. All right, continue going forward. Exotic location uncovered in the Suwasa Island by promising explorer Harry Walker. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this classy crook. That's what they're calling me? I like it. Um, we're in 8th place now, 572 renown, and we're almost at 7th place, and you know, he's at 2000. We're making some progress. I'm not too crazy about my progress, especially after two expeditions here. I would like to be closer, but we'll see if we can make it. We'll see. Greetings, Explorer. We down here in New Orleans. Let me do this right. We down here in New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Nolens? Is it Nolens? I'm trying to say there's a New Orleans. The natives do have a little bit of an accent, so they say like Nolens. Whatever. Uh, New Orleans read all about your amazing adventure in the Caribbean. Just so you know, our shops in downtown New Orleans have some special offers just for people like you. We hope to see you soon. Oh, we have a new shop. Great. Where is the shop at? Item shop, Red Square Market. That's where we normally go to. Here it is. Downtown shops. Let's see what they have. Trinkets, offense. Oh, they have some really interesting books here. Book of Joy. Uh, three speech power, one attack power, but it gives you heart and plus. Increase the power of excite and try to excite by 20%. Oh, so these are actually books that increase certain type of abilities or form of attacks. Interesting. So they're not as strong as just leveling up, like, you know, with the gloves and, like, you know, say plus six or plus one. These are a bit weaker, but they do give you, like, an increase to a certain skill. Not bad if you want to kind of like min-max and MLG this thing through. Alrighty. Maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't. We'll see. Let's go back over here. Um, we have a bit more time left with the video, so let's do a little bit of leveling around here. And we'll probably wrap it up for the next time, or next exploration out there. So we have a level up with Harry here. Let's see where we want to go with here. We have Big Blast. This training can now be selected. His piercing shot is now a cone. Ooh. So initially he had the piercing shot, which is just like a shot down the line. Which is fine. But if you have a cone, that's even better. And then we have Penetrating Shot. Piercing gains 20% power each time it penetrates an enemy. This isn't too bad, but the only problem is you have to make sure you're gonna get a choke point going on, where there's a bunch of enemies stacked in a line to get stronger and stronger with each attack. Which could be pretty useful, but you definitely have to plan around it. I'm gonna go with the easy one, which is the Cone Attack. That's gonna give, my, give me more HP as well, up to 43. Okay. We'll take that one. Great. Alrighty, so that's done with. We have four insight to waste over here. Before we decide which one we're going to do, let's go to the research option and start unlocking some more of these things here. I want to get the Explorer's Toolkit, which will give us two more extra tools, so we'll spend some research points on that one. Um, this will make upgrading shops and Entourage Hawk cost 40% less status, which is pretty useful. And then this will give us, every time you finish an expedition, one more insight. Probably not as great. What happens if we max everything in here, though? Gain one extra token from each job where you spend insight. Ah. Oh. So we'll get more um, rewards from Insight if we max everything out over here. Could be useful, but I'm actually thinking about... This will give me two more resolves straight up. And this will also give me more status and gold per expedition here. All crew members gain 10 attack and... Ooh, that could be pretty useful right there. What is this one? Collect coin. All fighters get... Oh, if I'm correct, this is the one where... Fighters like Dolores, if I have people around her, will get like extra armor just by being around her. So she could basically be the meat shield up front and we could have Harry and Charles stack up around her. And get a 25 armor boost just by being next to her. So that's actually really good. Let's unlock Adventure. And um... Do we have enough for that? No, we don't. We're missing six. Okay, we can make that happen. Let's come over to Study. We'll do a class here with Harry. Get me up to 21 more. Great, we'll come back over here. Excuse me, my friend. Let me come over here. Let me come, I said. Uh, <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Great. So, 70s the next one. Good. At least we got the one that I really wanted. Let's go back. And let's go and entourage it up here a little bit. 
Actually, no, no, no. I want to use up some entourage points or status points, I guess I should say, to level up the store here and unlock some more items. So let's go ahead and upgrade the store here once and maybe even twice. Now, the Master Gloves unlocked over here, which is going to be 10 attack power and 5 plus speech power. Really, really good. Costs a lot of money. But something like that on Harry would make him even more of a threat out there than he already is. So I'm thinking we definitely grab that for him. So we'll sell that. Bring... No. Oh, just buy that. Equip that over here. It's a big uh, expenditure, obviously, but it'll be definitely worth it if he's doing like a ton of damage down the line. Okay, so that's good. What about defensive abilities over here? He had the good boots, which is 10 grid. Scouts only, 15 greet, uh, grid. <laughs> greet. Uh, armor and speech defense plus 5. Not bad. Scouts only, good armor. Master boots, 25 grid. Ooh, and a bunch of defense as well. Uh, a little bit too much money than we actually have. Let's think about buffing up Dolores here a little bit, especially if we're going to be start using that aura attack on her, or the aura ability. we just have her just absorb most hits, right? So, something defensive oriented for her would be amazing. Like, good armor is going to be 15 armor and plus 5 speech defense. Master would be 25 and 15. We need more money for this, though, which we don't have right now. Do we save up and go for those, the big ones, or do we just go for the midway ones for now? I'm at a loss about it. Translation guide is going to be plus two speech power, and you also gain the Diplomat Perk Languages. Lucky Charm, 310. Resist damage from saddened speeches, and weaken damage from excited speeches. <laughs> War Drums, resist damage, and... These are really interesting trick they did. Machete, two attack power. And you get the stamina attack perk as well. All terrifying abilities gain plus 10 speech power. You know what's actually really good? for her, because all she has is actually terrifying uh, speech things, so... You know what, let's get the machete. Oh, she already has this, though, which is plus five speech defense, and I do like that. Hmm. Let's get the machete. We're making her more defensive-oriented, aren't we? This will just make her more offensive-oriented, and I'd rather have her take damage than just dish out damage. Yeah, yeah, she's our tank, she's our tank. Um, he has both terrifying and enrage abilities so it wouldn't be it's more useful on somebody like her but i want to keep her defensive oriented so uh we'll hold on to it for now then let's come back over here and do maybe if we can get some more money happening two tokens one and two we'll do this one we need 450 is the problem i don't think we're gonna get up to 450 with through classes alone not at this rate nah we'll try to get a bit closer to it but I don't think we're going to make it. And next one over, we'll do... Yeah, might as well just do another one of these. Yeah, okay. 398. I want to store up so we could actually buy some of those really high attack things, or maybe even defensive ones, so... Uh, I'll hold on to that money. Let's go into the Entourage Hall and hire a few more of these dudes. Let's see. Let's pick up this journal. It's going to give me what? One of three status from each encounter? Yeah, let's pick him up. And merchants, we're looking for money, right? So we might as well pick up all these merchants available. Great, we're down to 111. We have a trader here, which is gold from encounters. Yes, we'll pick that up. And we have... That's about it. We're out of status points at this point. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that'll be my entourage. And I think we're ready to go. Yes, we are. Okay. We're gonna wrap it up here, guys. We will come back next episode. Hey, look at this. We have swapped over from aggressive to devious. <laughs> Pretty good. I like it. Uh, we will come back next episode. And we'll go on to our next expedition over, which will be the third one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.